prepared for higher rates and slower 7%. growth. 7%. Are we really going there? And, well, and how I don't know. When I said 5%, growth. they said, are we going there? Yeah, it's possible. You know, which when, I, when I talk to my board, I say, yeah, it, it, can it go to 7%? The answer is yes. Are there factors that would drive it, you know, higher than, you know, where it is today? You know, four and a half, four, six, or four, seven, over the 10-year bond now? Yes. Uh, is supply and demand could push high? Yes. I'm, I'm just saying be prepared for it. So and, 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 and then the worst case is stagflation. Mm -hmm. You know, higher rates because you have a booming economy and there's a lot of competition for capital is not the same thing as stagflation. What are... What are the ripple effects of the stress of that? 7% rates on business, on your growth? Well, I'm not worried about JP Morgan. JP Morgan, you know, we, we, we are prepared. We can handle 7%. Mm -hmm. We can handle 2% again. 8%? Yeah, we can handle that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, I mean, so that's, that risk management is not the same thing as guessing the future. Mm -hmm. When risk management looking at the range of potential outcomes and being able to say to yourself, we can handle this, we can handle this, we don't really expect it, and we can handle the in-between. You know, if you bet your company on, you know, one outcome, are you prepared for interest rates to skyrocket to 8%? Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, has recently made a stunning prediction that could shake up the financial world. Jamie Dimon is a highly influential figure in the banking industry, known for his insightful and often bold forecasts. His recent comments about the potential for interest rates to rise to 8% have caught the attention of financial experts and everyday consumers alike. With the current economic landscape in flux, understanding the implications of such a significant rise in interest rates is crucial for anyone managing debt, investing, or planning for the future. So what exactly is the interest rates? Well, interest rates represent the cost or reward associated with borrowing or investing funds. They play a pivotal role in monetary policy, impacting various aspects of the economy, including inflation, employment rates, and economic growth. Understanding interest rates is crucial for both individuals and businesses as they navigate financial decisions. An interest rate is the amount charged by a lender to a borrower for using assets, such as money. It is typically expressed as an annual percentage rate and can apply to loans, savings accounts, or certificates of deposit. Individuals borrow money for various purposes, such as buying homes, funding projects, or paying for education. Businesses also take out loans to finance capital projects and expand their operations. In both cases, the interest rate serves as the cost of debt for borrowers and the rate of return for lenders. There are different types of interest, primarily simple and compound interest. Simple interest is calculated solely on the principal amount borrowed. This means that if you take out a mortgage or a similar loan, the interest you pay is based only on the original amount you borrowed without considering any interest that has already been added. On the other hand, compound interest is applied not only to the principal, but also to the accumulated interest from previous periods. This type of interest can significantly increase the total amount paid over time, as seen in certain loans and savings accounts. The risk profile of borrowers also influences the interest rates they receive. Low-risk borrowers typically receive lower interest rates while high-risk borrowers face higher rates. Lenders charge higher rates for riskier loans to compensate for potential losses. For instance, someone with a high credit score may secure a loan with a lower interest rate compared to someone with a poor credit score. Annual Percentage Yield APY is another important concept in understanding interest rates, particularly for savings accounts or CDs. APY refers to the interest earned on savings accounts or CDs. Unlike simple interest, it considers compounding. This means that the interest you earn on a savings account or CD not only applies to the initial amount deposited, but also to the interest that has been added over time. As a result, account holders can earn more over time due to the effects of compounded interest. Interest rates have a profound impact on the economy. Central banks, such as the Federal Reserve in the United States, adjust interest rates to influence economic activity. Lower rates encourage borrowing and spending, which can stimulate economic growth. 
Conversely, higher rates promote saving and reduce borrowing, which can help cool down an overheated economy. But Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, has made a bold prediction regarding interest rates, forecasting an 8% environment. His concerns primarily revolve around inflation, which has been a hot topic in economic discussions. Dimon's call is rooted in the worry that inflationary pressures are building up. As economies recover from the pandemic-induced slowdown, several factors contribute to rising prices. Governments worldwide have implemented substantial fiscal stimulus packages to support their economies during the pandemic. While necessary, this massive injection of funds can lead to inflation. When governments increase spending significantly, it puts upward pressure on prices. More money chasing the same goods and services can lead to higher costs. The pandemic disrupted global supply chains, leading to shortages and bottlenecks. As economies reopen, trade dynamics are shifting. Supply chain disruptions coupled with increased demand can contribute to inflation. Higher transportation costs and delays in production exacerbate the situation. Energy prices have also been volatile. Geopolitical tensions, supply constraints and increased demand have led to higher oil and gas prices. Elevated energy costs directly impact consumer prices and contribute to overall inflation. Higher interest rates make borrowing more expensive. Mortgages, auto loans, and credit card debt become costlier. This increase in borrowing costs can lead to reduced consumer spending. When borrowing costs rise, consumers may cut back on discretionary spending. Retail, travel, and leisure sectors could be affected. Elevated rates also discourage business investments. Companies may delay expansion plans or reduce capital expenditures. While higher rates help curb inflation, they can also slow down economic growth. Reduced consumer spending and business investments can lead to a cooling effect. The real estate market may experience a slowdown due to higher mortgage rates affecting home sales and construction. Investors should brace for potential turbulence in stock markets. Higher rates can lead to volatility as risk return profiles are reassessed. Bond prices move inversely to interest rates. Rising rates can impact fixed income portfolios. Diamond's prediction is not just a casual statement, but a reflection of deep economic concerns. The ongoing fiscal spending by governments aimed at reviving economies from the pandemic's impact is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it has been essential to provide relief and stimulate growth. On the other hand, the sheer volume of fiscal stimulus has injected massive amounts of money into the economy, which can lead to inflation. This phenomenon occurs because the increased government spending raises demand for goods and services, driving up prices when supply cannot keep up. The restructuring of global trade due to the pandemic has also been a significant factor in inflationary pressures. The disruptions in supply chains have caused shortages and bottlenecks, making it difficult for businesses to get the materials they need. As economies begin to recover and demand surges, these supply chain issues have not been resolved quickly enough, causing prices to rise. The increased costs of transportation and delays in production further add to the inflationary pressures as businesses pass on these costs to consumers. Energy prices are another critical factor contributing to inflation. The volatility in oil and gas prices, driven by geopolitical tensions and supply constraints, has had a direct impact on the cost of living. Higher energy costs translate to higher costs for goods and services across the board, as transportation and production costs rise. This situation has been exacerbated by increased demand for energy as economies reopen and activity resumes. The implications of an 8% interest rate environment are far-reaching. Higher borrowing costs mean that consumers will find mortgages, auto loans, and credit card debt more expensive. This can lead to a reduction in consumer spending, particularly on discretionary items such as retail, travel, and leisure. When consumers cut back on spending, businesses in these sectors can suffer. Furthermore, Elevated interest rates can discourage businesses from investing in expansion or new projects. The higher cost of borrowing means that companies may delay or scale back their investment plans, which can slow economic growth. Slowing economic growth is a significant concern when interest rates rise. While higher rates can help control inflation, they also reduce consumer and business spending, 
which can lead to a cooling of the economy. The housing market in particular may be affected by higher mortgage rates. As borrowing becomes more expensive, home sales and construction can slow down, impacting the broader real estate market and related industries. Market volatility is another potential consequence of rising interest rates. Equity markets may experience turbulence as investors reassess their risk return profiles. Higher rates can lead to fluctuations in stock prices as the cost of borrowing increases and future earnings projections are adjusted. Similarly, bond markets can be affected as bond prices move inversely to interest rates. Rising rates can lead to declines in bond prices impacting fixed income portfolios. As the interest rates in the United States have recently hovered around 5.25% to 5.5%, a level higher than what we've seen in the past two decades. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, has issued a stark warning that challenges the prevailing expectation of rate cuts. His prediction of 8% interest rates reflects concerns about inflation and its potential impact on the economy. Analysts are actively debating whether rate cuts are imminent. Despite the higher borrowing costs associated with elevated interest rates, the U.S. economy remains surprised. The unemployment rate remains below 4%, indicating a robust job market. Businesses, buoyed by government and consumer spending, continue to add jobs at an unexpectedly rapid pace. This positive employment trend contrasts with the anticipated drag on the economy due to higher borrowing costs. Inflation figures are another crucial factor in this discussion. The latest U.S. inflation figures are due to be published soon, with the Consumer Price Index measure of inflation expected to rise to 3.4% year-on-year, up from 3.2% in February. These inflation numbers may influence the Federal Reserve's decisions regarding interest rates. Federal Reserve Chair Jay Powell has indicated that if the economy evolves as expected, it's likely that the policy rate will be lowered at some point this year. The expectation is that the first rate cut could potentially occur in June. As businesses and individuals, there are several steps to consider in light of this situation. Risk management is crucial. Assessing exposure to higher interest rates and understanding how increased borrowing costs might impact your financial position is essential. Consider refinancing existing debt or adjusting investment portfolios to mitigate risks. It's also important to monitor the Federal Reserve's decisions closely. Their policy changes directly affect interest rates, so staying informed about economic indicators and central bank communications can provide valuable insights. Investment strategies should also be adjusted in response to these potential changes. Diversifying investments can help weather fluctuations in interest rates. Think long term and consider the implications of different rate scenarios on your financial goals. For instance, a mix of assets can offer stability and growth opportunities even when interest rates rise. Additionally, staying informed and prepared can make a significant difference in navigating this uncertain economic landscape. Jamie Dimon's shocking call for 8% interest rates has everyone talking. What do you think? Are we heading towards higher interest rates or will they remain stable? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.